This is a tutorial on how to refine your searches in library databases to retrieve useful results. In this example, we'll use the Academic Search Complete database, which has articles and other resources on many different subjects. You may also use these strategies when searching other databases. Once we have entered keywords into the database search boxes, we are going to use the filters on the left side to make our search more specific. The full text filter will limit your results to articles that have their full text available in this database. If you do not select the full text box, you might see articles that include the article title and abstract, but not the full text of the article. For articles that don't have a link that says full text, you may select the option that says find full text to either be linked to another database to see the full article or to interlibrary loan where you may request the article from another library. Remember that if you do select the full text option, relevant articles might be restricted from your search. Moving down, you may use the scholarly peer-reviewed journals filter to limit your results to academic articles that have gone through the peer review process. Articles that have gone through this process have been reviewed and accepted by experts in the field. Your professor might require this type of article for your assignment. I'm also going to use the publication date filter to change my date range to the last few years because I want my results to only show the most recent research. You can also specify the types of resources in your results by using the source types filter. I'm going to limit my results to academic journal articles only, but you may also choose to include other types of resources in your search depending on your assignment. It is also useful to look at the below sections of subject thesaurus term and subject to get an idea of the main subjects in your search results. This might help you determine additional keywords to search. Feel free to explore the other filters on this page and any filters you find in other databases as well. You can see that the number of articles in our results list has now decreased to a manageable number. These results are specific to our search parameters, so it is less likely we will get irrelevant articles in this list. Lastly, you can use the advanced search page to narrow your search even further. This is the same page you see when you open the database. You could also choose to use the filters on this page, or you can leave them blank and use filters after you search like we did in this example. Remember that applying too many filters may limit your results too much, so be sure to modify your search options throughout your research process. Librarians are available to assist you during all open hours in person, by phone, and by email. Please don't hesitate to contact us.